Today we're going to talk about my GE Cafe refrigerator. I've had it for about four months. As you can see, it is a French door style bottom freezer in stainless steel. It has black sides, which are magnetic. It's a very large refrigerator. I think it's rated at 31 cubic feet. It holds a ton of stuff. And the LED lighting inside is great. There are very few shadows with all the lights. Uh, there's lights in the drawers. The, the ice maker is in the door for the outside ice dispenser. So the one door is narrow, but the other door is very wide. It'll fit a gallon of milk. The freezer has three drawers or two drawers and the tubs we like it all quite well the one thing I want to talk about today is the ice dispenser unit so we use a lot of crushed ice and we find that eventually the ice dispenser will plug up with chips from the crushed ice sticking to the walls of the chute and they will melt and drip down the back and onto the pan but don't, you can see on the back of the pan it's not perforated so what it does is it runs to the corners and then it runs down the front of your stainless steel appliance creating a horrible mess which stains the stainless steel so you're constantly cleaning the front of your refrigerator. So a couple of months ago, I sent GE a text message or a, an email and told them that I really liked my refrigerator and that when I got it, it was completely silent and that lately it had gotten noisy and that one of my drawers wouldn't stay shut and that the ice dispenser leaked constantly. Now they told me that the ice dispenser doesn't leak and that it's always the water dispenser. And if it's the water dispenser, it drips into the pan and it's not that big of a deal, but it's not the water dispenser, it's the ice dispenser. Now they sent me a housing and, and a, you know had a technician come out and install it, but they sent me a housing that goes over the motor and the compressor to quiet it down which seems a little ridiculous it's a bit like sending me earplugs in that when I first got it it was silent and now it makes noise which makes me think something is not running right and to give me something to quiet it down doesn't really solve the underlying problem of whatever it is that's going out and making the whirring sound so you can still hear the whirring sound of the compressor but it's a lot quieter since they installed the housing over the uh, compressor although I'd imagine that thing holds heat in so it's lowering the lifespan of my fridge now the ice dispenser the technician that came out replaced a few things that they could replace without replacing the whole door and he troubleshot the problem for a couple weeks and he found that indeed the crushed ice sticks in the chute and builds up until it completely clogs the chute and backs the ice up as well as constantly dripping down the front of the refrigerator and he told GE that what you have is a engineering issue or a faulty door and so I was in contact with GE and they told me that they sent their engineers to test some refrigerators and that every one of them does this and because of that it's a normal thing and therefore they're not going to deal with it again engineering mistake normal not gonna fix it so that is the impetus for this review on my GE Cafe refrigerator is they're refusing to fix an obvious issue because it's engineered into the 
unit itself and would be too expensive for them to actually fix properly. Uh, so that's the conclusion of my review. All in all, I really like this refrigerator, but if you really want a stainless steel fridge, you know how much trouble they are to keep clean and having something run water down the front of it constantly. It's, it's a horrible issue. Buy a different brand of stainless steel refrigerator. Uh, the hot water feature, which this is really the only one that I know of that does this, is great. We use it all the time, but it really doesn't compensate for the incredible amount of problems with the ice maker plugging up and sh and then it'll break loose and shoot ice all over the place and and the water dripping down the front of the fridge constantly so thanks for your time and think twice if you're considering a GE cafe refrigerator thank you